So today we're going to have an instructional video on how to install the new SLEE off-road catalytic converter theft deterrent plates that we're offering. These plates are intended to be an add-on to the SLEE off-road skid plates that fits the 2008 through 2021 Land Cruiser and LX570. So included in the product is a left and right protection plate. We have all the hardware included. There is seven stainless steel M8 tamper-proof hardware. We are also supplying the special tool. This allows you to uh, fit our tamper-proof nuts here. We also have seven zinc-coated clip nuts as well as associated washers. The tools that we need to complete this project are gonna be our drill, our drill bits. We have a pilot drill bit here and then our final drill bit size, which is 3 8 inch. Then we have our two clamps. You can use a traditional spring-loaded clamp or our locking clamps here, and then our impact driver, and finally impact or regular ratchet wrench. So starting on the driver's side of the vehicle, we're gonna take our new skid plate, we're gonna line it up so that the bottom here is lined up with the brake on our original skid plate system here. We're gonna verify the front and rear. We have the lower control arm out here that we're gonna give ourselves some ample room on, and then we have our cross member for the transmission. We're also gonna verify our room. Roughly gonna eyeball it front to back. With this lined up in the bottom, we're gonna take our scribe and we're gonna mark here where our holes are. This has three mounting holes, so roughly in the center of each of our slots, we're gonna go ahead and mark through the powder coat of our skid plate. So we're gonna take our scribe mark and measure from the top edge of the skid plate. From the top edge, measuring down roughly 10 to 15 millimeters or half an inch, and we're gonna center punch this. That'll be our hole that we'll start by drilling with our pilot drill. Now that we have our pilot hole drilled, we'll transfer it onto the 3 8 drill bit. Now that we've completed the drilling of our hole, we're going to use a paint pen and cover up the area that we've drilled for corrosion resistance. The clip nuts will install from the top of the flange inward. Using a mallet, you can lightly tap the clip nuts into place. So that the hole is nicely lined up in the center of the clip nut. Continue the installation of the clip nuts through all three locations on the driver's side installation. Just realign your skid plate with your newly installed clip nuts. Install your washer on your Allen head bolt. And don't let anybody tell you that washers are not directional, because they are. Start these by hand. Another washer, another nut, and on a number three. We have a little wiggle room in here to get these lined up just perfectly. We're going to use our impact wrench to lightly tighten these. Now loosely tightened, we're going to come back with a torque wrench and verify these are torqued to fit. Using our clamp, we're holding the passenger side protection plate in place. Similar to the driver's side, we're using the bottom edge to line up with the brake that's naturally in the skid plate. On the rear section, it's a little different. Uh, where your rearmost mounting hole is, is very close to the edge. So you want to put your finger in the back and verify that you have ample material to drill, your, drill and mark your hole. We've completed the installation of our clip nuts on the passenger side. Much like the driver's side, the clip nuts install from the top inwards. However, on the rear, due to the weld on the top, the clip nut will install from the side facing forward as you can see here. We will align our protection plate in place and using our hardware and our washers installed in the proper direction, we will lightly and loosely install. Before tightening, ensure that the skid plate and the protection plate is aligned such that you have a gap here, more or less pushing it all the way up so that there is no impact when you're using your skid plate as a skid plate. And again, we're going to come back, torque these.
Looking at the rear of the vehicle here, we are aware that the tail end of the catalytic converters is still a bit visibly apparent. We do realize that although someone could cut here, they could not come forward to remove the catalytic converters from the vehicle. This is intended to be a theft deterrent system, not a theft proof system, as with many parts of the vehicle. The understanding is that if someone was to roll under this vehicle and look to steal your catalytic converters, the energy it would take is much more and they're going to roll over to the next guy's vehicle and leave yours alone. We've now completed the installation of our catalytic converter theft deterrent system. Remember to keep your security key along with you in case you need to get back in there and uh, pat yourself on the back. This is a great day's work. Go reward yourself with a nice beverage or some kombucha. Thank you.